My next story happens to be on 5G. All right, 5G is on the rise again, or people want to think that it is. So we're going to take a look at it. 5G satellite stock Intelsat drops 40% after the FCC 5G decision. FCC chairman Ajit Pai said in a tweet that his agency must free up significant spectrum for 5G communications, telecommunications. The FCC said it expects to begin a public auction of the C-band to happen before the end of 2020, a blow to satellite operators using the valuable spectrum. Interesting, huh? So the people who are doing satellite um, internet are the ones that are getting uh, jacked up here because they need that spectrum for 5G and Intelsat took the hit on it. Another company, Qualcomm Forecast Signals, global 5G launch. Qualcomm beat the fourth quarter analyst estimates that included sharp declines from last year. The stock is jumping due to a solid uh, first quarter guidance despite ongoing disputes with Huawei and missing Apple chip sales. Mm -hmm. The company forecasts, get this, 200 million 5G devices shipments in 2020. That's huge. That's going to be a big bump to the 5G industry. Now, the stock is at $90. The stock remains at a bargain um, at $90. The stock remains a bargain with $67, earnings, uh, $67 earnings per share target before the benefit of the global 5G launch. So now, I'm going to point you in the direction of how to find 5G stocks in the VectorVest software, okay? Now, it's not going to be in my list here. I did have Qualcomm here, and I believe I do have Intelsat. Let's, let's analyze those real quick. Intelsat got smoked. Um, definitely overvalued, but look at the, our proprietary indicators. Relative value. Looks at a stock's long-term price appreciation potential as compared to a AAA corporate bond. Would I rather own this stock or a AAA corporate bond over the next one to three years? Nope. Intelsat will be underperforming that AAA corporate bond, where Qualcomm, on the other hand, should outperform that AAA corporate bond by 26%. Relative safety. How safe is the stock? It's an indicator of risk for the stock. Right now, Qualcomm has got a relative safety at 1% which means that when earnings comes out, it has a 50-50% percent chance that it may meet or exceed earnings. Whereas on the other side, Intelsat is going to have a, mo a highly unlikely probability of hitting or miss or hitting earnings or, growing or, or going higher than earnings uh, and anticipated. Relative timing tells me if the stock is in an uptrend or not. Looks at the short-term price trend. Qualcomm in an uptrend above the value of one, Intelsat way at the bottom of the spectrum on RT. Intelsat's going down. Qualcomm is going up. So two of the stocks uh, talked about in the story on those two stories from the standpoint of 5G. One is a buy recommendation. So if I'm going to look for a stock in the 5G space, Qualcomm may be it. Whereas Intelsat, which is that... Um, that um, what is what did I just call that um, cable? Um, looking at it, it from a, a satellite perspective, really getting hurt. So now those are only two stocks. I'm going to take you to a watch list within the VectorVest software. And again, this is more because of the benefit of the people who are not subscribers yet. If I go to overview watch lists, we've done um, presentations on 5G to the point that we've created a watch list of just. 5G stocks. Right now, there's 45 of those stocks. I am not going to look through all of them. But what I will look at is a couple of things. Let's look at what the fastest moving stocks in the 5G area are. If we click on RT, that's short-term price trend, the fastest moving stock in the 5G space is QRVO. All right, it's a nicely undervalued stock, good upside potential. This stock should outperform that AAA corporate bond by 21%. The safety, though, is not exactly where I would like for it to be. When it comes down to earnings, this stock may or may not um, 
meet or exceed earnings expectations. But one other thing I like, the stock is definitely in an uptrend. Look at that, and it's a buy recommendation. The company makes money, $6.26% forecasted. They're growing their earnings by 14% a year. That's not bad. Next one, AMD, Advanced Micro. Man, look at that. A little bit over its value, and we assign a value to every stock, what we feel the stock is currently worth. We'd rather have you in safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price. Um, this is a tad bit overvalued, good upside potential. The safety is there. AMD is going to do a better job of meeting or exceeding earnings than QRVO, and, but of course, this stock's in an uptrend. Buy recommendation, um, earnings per share, 99 cents, annualized, uh, forecasted, and they grow their earnings at a clip of 28%. This is the power behind having the VectorVest software in looking at any space to determine what stocks are best. So let's flip the script a little bit. Remember, I'm not going to look through all of these stocks. Apple is in this list. Uh, Skyworks is in this list. AVGO. Oh, man, Google's in this list. Alibaba's in this list. A lot of stocks are in this list. But what I'm trying to do is present to you and show you the power of being able to streamline what's working the best. Let's go click on earnings growth. Well, why is that? Because earnings is the engine that makes any stock go higher. Earnings is the engine that makes a stock's price go higher. So what stock in here has got the, fat, the highest earnings growth? SSTI. Shot spotter. How many of you know about that stock? How many of you know about that stock? And if you don't, then you know something. You've now been brought up to speed that there is a stock that's growing their earnings at a clip of 47%. Ericsson, all right, growing their earnings at a clip of 35. Let's go see. Someone is uh, there's Nokia. Someone asked about Nokia. There it is. All right, sandbag man. Do I want to get into Nokia? You know, let's do this. And I'm going to do this on the fly. Let's right click on the stock. And let me see if this is a stock that I would want to get into right now. All right. Woo. So Nokia, man, oh man, do I want this stock right now? I do like the rising earnings, but I don't like the falling price. Let's take a look at the other stocks that we looked at at the top by way of RT. All right. Let's go look at uh, QRVO, AMD, and NVIDIA. I'm going to look at the top four. Let's look at their graphs real quick. Is that more of a stock that you would want to be in? Let's put on a three-month graph. Not right now. QRVO looked great. Gapped up, really went higher, hit a new three-month high, pulled back four days in a row. Maybe right now I don't want it. Apple, as much as I love this stock, look at it. What is it doing for the last three days? Pulling back. Now, NVIDIA, on the other hand, is a little bit of a sideways move, not pulling back off the high, but a little bit of a sideways move above that 20-day exponential moving average, approaching another level of resistance, which was created by the high, a little bit of indecision on the day. Um, the next one, AMD, beautiful looking equity curve starting to pull back. As the market moves, so does 80% of the market. 80% uh, of the stocks in the market. So even really good stocks will feel the pinch when the market starts to pull back. All right, so that was the touch on um, the 5G. Instead of looking at the individual stocks uh, individually, we have a watch list of stocks in 5G. Another something to look at, look at the watch list average. I'm gonna do something else. I am going to view the watch list average of all 45 stocks in 5G. Someone said, well, 5G is, what about 5G? This is the average of all of those stocks. You didn't know you could do that, did you? You can go and get a watch list average. What is the watch list starting to do? Starting to pull back intraday, it did fall below the 20-day exponential moving average. This is the kind of information that you want. Instead of just listening to someone say, hey, 5G is on, is on the run. Or you watch television. Hey, you got to get into 5G right now. Woo, we go. Nope. This is where the power of the VectorVest software informs you on what's truly going on to put you in the right spot to be when it comes down to getting into stocks. All right. Someone says MGI. I don't know if that stock is here. Let me sort this by symbol real quick. And MGI is not one of the stocks that I have in um, 5G. But if it's a stock that you need me to look at, by the end of this session, I will be looking at some stocks for you. 
Um, Rich says AMD has been on a straight up since the beginning of October. But if you look at AMD now, as we just did, um, are you ready to jump into it? Let's go back to it real quick. AMD, view the stock graph. And this is the cool thing. I don't care what you think. All right. I really don't. And I do. I say that for a reason, because the more you think and the more you invest with this, which is called emotional investing, the more you can put yourself in a bad situation. I love the earnings per share on the stock. Have you heard that there's a bad time to be in a good stock? Love the equity curve. Love the earnings per share. But what's going on right now? Do I want to put my money behind that stock, Rich, right now? All right, you're right, it's been going up, but right now may not be the time that I'm going to take it. And if you were playing calls right now, you might be take. you need to take some of that off the table, Rich. You know better than that, all right? And if you were buying calls all the way up, that's beautiful. Well, look at what's going on in the market now. Not only is it falling down, look at the volume behind it. People are actively selling the stock. That's a lot of volume on that move to the downside. So again, I am not here to say, well, what you think is, listen, I take that off the table. Let the power of the software walk you through what you need to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.